Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Iridium Axel, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the computer. Although it's not for the computer, I just made it for the computer. Whatever. So, on the Saturday before this recording started, so like two days ago for you guys, I did a lot of farming off camera. And I also created some new weapons. Now, those weapons are the Peko Spander, the Twin Chainsaws, and the Numbing Bird Plus, I believe it is. It, I might have a different name, but I created those three things. They weren't very hard to get, although to get the, uh, to get the Twin Chainsaws and the Numbing Bird, we had to kill... A nibble snarf we went into the tavern to do that because I wanted to save all of the quests in the village for you know the actual episodes and stuff so that's what we did you can see the clips of what we were doing uh, or of when we created them right now but it might be done by now I really don't know but yeah now we can get into the rest of the video I just had to get that all explained to you guys that was all done in one day I just didn't have a chance to record and we needed to get a bunch of stuff done because at the rate the series was progressing I was gonna have that bone axe for about 10 more episodes all right so let's get into the rest of the video now guys welcome back everybody so here we are in Moga Village I have my new weapons and stuff let's check those out real quick before we go killing any monsters although today's plan is to kill the Lagambi and the baggy the great baggy so if we come over in here we can see first oh I also got a rusted greatsword because I was exploring the volcano in the tavern as well uh, but we can't do anything with that at the moment I don't have the items to upgrade it so first we have the twin chainsaws 70 lightning 196 attack such fast attack speed they're they're quite nice then we have the par paralakite yeah so that's what it up that's what it upgraded to from the numbing bird so that has 676 attack and 170 paralysis Again, really useful. Also, these weapons have green sharpness, which I should mention, which is just ugh, so good. Then the Peko Spander, which has fire element, and I think that's pretty cool. But for the Lagambi and the Great Baggy, I think I'm going to want to just stick with my uh, Paralakeet. So, the meal I always get is uh, fish and bread, I believe. Because that gives you defense up small, a little bit of stamina, I believe, uh, health up, and also feline defender high is uh, not guaranteed, but close to it. I also need to make some more mega potions because uh, the monsters in the tavern are quite hard. They were made for multiple people to fight, so... And I have no potions in here. How lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna buy some potions. Buy a center box. 20 sounds good. For a period of time, I had like 30,000 zenny, but then I started buying weapons and stuff, and that went away very quickly. Alright, so I can only make like 10. But that's okay. And then I'll grab those ten. And I'll put away some items. That Nibble Snarf stuff, I thought about getting rid of, but honestly, it's just Nibble Snarf stuff. Like, <laughs> who uses it? I don't think I've bought any hot drinks yet. I can check. Nope. So, that's something that I need to get for this upcoming mission. Also, I was given ten well-done steaks by the cat in the tavern so that's how I obtained those got those hot drinks now I wanted to check one thing with this lady all right still only hunter's armor that's okay I've eaten and we're ready to go first I want to do leader of the ice pack which is hunt a great baggy 
I'm not sure if that's a required quest, but I'm doing it anyway because it's fun. Nice. Um, one nice thing about hunting in the tavern is that you have four times the commodities when you enter uh when the when you enter a new quest because it's made for four people to go against a monster. Easy flash bomb. Alright, so this sort of shows off what the baggies can do. You have a helpless little baby popo. He's like, ah crap. These guys are about to be jerks. And then this giant raptor who thinks he can't take the popo just puts it to sleep first. <laughs> Don't be confused though, it is not dead. That's just what the baggies do. They shoot you with crap and you go to sleep. I believe the energy drinks prevent that. I don't know where I'm supposed to be watching this from. I entered from area one. But okay, whatevs. I haven't... I'm... Don't... Yeah, I've used the hammer before in my playthroughs. Uh, it's one of my favorite weapons, actually. You do a lot of damage per hit. Although, uh, it's very slow. So you have to really know how to use it. Otherwise, you're not going to get anywhere fast. Sweet! Already paralyzed. All right, and if you're lucky with the hammer, if you hit its head enough, you can actually knock it out, I guess, uh, or more like stun it temporarily. So that's what makes a paralysis hammer so useful. You'll paralyze it, then knock it out, and then paralyze it again. It keeps, it keeps you with a really consistent rate of hits. Oh, dang. Those things are just trying to swarm me. Thankfully, they all tried at the same time, so now they're all dead. Ah. I can't tell if he's enraged or not. Is he leaving or attacking? He's attacking Cha-Cha now. Uh, the Great Baggy is also one of my favorite bosses to fight because it's practically a Great Jaggy. It just has some extra tricks and such. So it makes it a little bit harder to fight, but nothing that you can't handle. And I have no idea why I faced that way to do that. May as well just start hitting him at this point instead of going for the head. Alright, he's already limping, so that's why I wanted to fight both him and the Lagambi. I believe he's going to Area 4. I'm very thankful for the fact that uh, the, sh the dark areas in this game are not, not nearly as dark as the dark areas in Monster Hunter Tri. Because in Monster Hunter Tri, you couldn't see, period, unless you lit up the area. You would have to sort of rely off of what you could hear. Oh, crap. Thank you. Also, if you're hit while you're, uh, while you're all sleepy and stuff, then that gets you out of your sleepy mode. Sweet! That was, that was just perfect timing. Where's that shiny? I want to go for the shiny first because those despawn very quickly. And now we're going to mine the... Mine? Oh my gosh, I'm so used to Minecraft. And now we're going to carve this guy. I'm so hyped for Monster Hunter World. I'm not sure exactly what I think of it yet. I only got a chance to play it for maybe six, seven hours. But I think I can safely say that I enjoyed what I did play. It'll be more fun when you can play multiplayer with people. And I do intend on playing it multiplayer. Um, 
if and when I can. Recently, I've been getting lazy with my schedule, but I've still been getting them videos out, aside from Terraria walk through abridged, although there's an explanation behind that in addition to my laziness, not, like, separate from it. All right, let's see what we got. Great baggy hide. Claw. Bone. Monster bone. King's crest. I'm cool with that. Um, the great baggy is the only sleep monster in this game, so that's the only way you're going to get weapons that can put monsters to sleep. Let's just quickly get a meal with, uh, I forget what this cat's name is. It's just itinerant cook. Okay, I'm cool with that. Alright, uh, next would be Snowbound Slider. I find that generally it's just whatever large monster quests there are, are the ones you should be going on. Because it's two. I don't want to take the well done steaks, I want to take rations for this. And then we can go ahead, rush on through to go find the Legambi. As you can see, he's on the edge of the arena uh, because of the way he enters. I'm really not sure whether the Legambi is a carnivore or just a really angry bunny. There he comes, running down the mountain. Generally, when something is running, it's either running to something or away from something. It's very angrily running right now. Although, admittedly, that was quite cool. Let's see, what do I want to do here? That was kind of pure luck that that hit. The nice thing about flash bombs is it makes it so that the monsters, they can still attack, but they don't know where you are. Even though they should be able to tell based on where you're hitting. It's kind of odd, admittedly, but whatever. Alright, so we broke the Legambi's face once. I think, can you break it twice? I'm not positive, but uh, we just broke it out of that. <laughs> we just broke it out, out of that paralysis directly into a stun, directly into a, uh, a stagger. So we had a lot of time to hit it. One of its most annoying attacks is that hip check. It's also one of its most powerful. Although I think we've only been hit once by that uh, weird claw grab thing. It should be dying pretty soon here. The numbing bird is such a significant upgrade from our previous uh, weapon, which was the bone axe. Uh, it's just uncomparable in speeds of how long fights are going to take. That's a very annoying attack, because most of the only safe place on the Legambi is behind it, because none of its attacks really go back there, aside from that one he just used where he just sort of sits on you. Ooh, that was a very narrow dodge. Kabam. Oh. Well, that was lucky. Ah. That was a waste. Sweet. <laughs> he should be getting stunned again pretty soon. 
Oh, can't one area him, but he's pretty close. That's what he looks like when he limps. Ha, stupid bunny. Move away from the entrance, you trash. Hopefully he doesn't start dashing around because I, I really hate it when he does that. And that's exactly what he's doing. Thankfully, he dashed directly into his own grave. Metaphorically. This is probably where he's gonna get like the most hits out on me because I'm just gonna, oh, never mind. He's not gonna get any more than two. That black cat isn't going to kill me. Or, yes, <laughs> that, that was very clear. That black cat isn't going to steal anything from me because I hit him with a giant feather ball. Yep, makes sense. Sweet, the Gombi pelts. Let's see, that's 14 minutes. We might have, we might have time for still another quest. I think we do. Ha! Take it. Cats are the worst. All right, quest complete. Send to item box. Ice crystal, those are nice. Plenty of Legombi stuff. And bone husk small. Because we needed more bone husk small. Everyone needs more bone husk small. They are critical to the survival of the human race. Uh, he's telling me to do something. I wasn't listening. Hey! We probably have an urgent quest now. Trial of the Sea Dragon. Hmm. We can attempt to do that. I think we're 15 minutes into the video. If that takes like... Ah, eh, sure. If it's a longer video, oh well. Oh no! I probably want to eat first. <laughs> Wow. You know what? I'm using a voucher. <sighs> Wait. Yep. All right. Now I can head out. I probably should have put away some items, but I don't know what I'm going to be picking up. So it should be fine. Probably. Oh, it's only in area five. Guess that's where it starts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot I only have to rebel it, so. This is going to be easy. You know. Why would a Lagayakris choose to sleep there? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, there's there's no prey that comes in this area, unless you count the uh, unless you count the many jaggies. Ooh, I got three hits in on its head before it roared. Ooh! <laughs> that was pretty great. So, the Legiacris is uh, primarily a water monster. That's why I was surprised to see it here. It can come to Area 5, it's just kind of rare. Um, but since it's primarily a water monster, you can see... It, yes, it's blue, but it has like various small fins all around its body. You can see on its back it has shockers, and those generate the electricity that it's been shooting out of its mouth. 
It can also charge those up to shock like an area around it. So if you're close to it when it does that, you're going to be having a bad day. I'm still trying to aim for his head uh, and break his horns. Uh, although his head is not the place to aim when he's fallen over because he moves around a lot like a crazy person. You can break you can break his shockers. You can also break his face, his frontal arms, I think. I don't think you can break his back arms. Um, and his chest. His chest, I believe, is his weakest point on his body, but I could be wrong about that. Excuse you, ma'am. I haven't upgraded my armor since the last episode, uh, although I've collected plenty of armor spheres, so I could pretty easily. Oh. I was completely expecting that to hit me. That was a pleasant surprise. Thank you for roaring right in my face. You rude lizard monster. And you can also chop off its tail. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's one of the more clear things that you can do to it. Again, with that dodge, that was beautiful. Oops, apparently I dodged too late. Or too early or something. That would probably be too late because I couldn't really see the animation. It just started. Ah! Um, I can probably take like a first aid med. Maybe two. Two would be preferable, but. Ah! No, please. Yeah, repelling this thing is not going to be any problem whatsoever. It's surprisingly fast on land for primarily a water monster. Later on, we find a subspecies of it called the Ivory Legiacris that is mostly on land which is so much more relaxing to fight. Oh no. Ah! What? <laughs> Was that Cha-Cha? Because I didn't hit him. Sweet. Yeah, not me with my giant uh, hammer with paralysis. It was Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha was the real MVP. That hip check is a very long sustained attack. So it's kind of hard to dodge because even if you dodge into it, uh, the attack frames last longer than your defense frames, it seems. Nope. That was also that was too early. If you want to dodge an attack completely, you have to wait until probably uh, like the last possible moment you can see where you can actually dodge and dodge directly into the attack. Because otherwise, it's not going to work correctly. You're going to end up getting hit, especially if you dodge away, because that extends how long the attack is lasting. You better not swim away, because I hate fighting anything in the water. Hey! That's it. I guess I had to break its horns. That, or breaking its horns was one possible way. Toodles! That was very easy. But, it looks like that just made it so that the, vi the video could end. So I'm going to wait until we get the rewards and everything and then end the video in the village. Alright, quest complete. Now we just need to grab our items. And then I have to <laughs> end the video, edit the video, compress the video, and upload the video. Did I get a plate? No. 
But that would have been cool. I got a horn. And that is worthwhile. Oh, it looks... Did we get a third ship? That's what it seems like. It's panning out. Yeah, we got a third ship. Cool. And we'll be able to upgra upgrade that with the Agrosi captain. Or Argosi. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Anyway... Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit different than the previous few, mainly because I had weapons that were capable. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.